How's it going, everybody? Steve from Perfect Reload here, and it's another one of those Steam Next Fest uh, demo events where demos of upcoming games are out, and I figured we'd take a look at a handful uh, that released during the, the time frame. I hope you got to check out some stuff that you en enjoyed. Uh, everything I'm taking a look at today, I have not played yet. Um, I figured we'd start with this Toxic Crusaders uh, retroware game, which uh, is a beat em up uh, from what I could tell in the uh, in the screenshots. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just, you know, dive in. Um, I never saw any of like the animated Toxic Crusader stuff. Um, like, I remember like the original movie, uh, the Lloyd Kaufman trauma movie, but um, I haven't seen any of this stuff. I guess we'll just play as Toxie, right? Gee, fellas, Dr. Killamoff finally pulled out all the stuff. I want to say that they're bringing this looks Toxic like Avenger stuff back Crusaders. in a way. Okay, so pretty limited controls, which is kind of what I figured. This looks nice. Can I attack here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. I want to say this is the same company that did Shredder's Revenge. I could be wrong. Um, I really enjoyed Shredder's Revenge quite a bit. I thought it was really well made. It was very short. I beat it in one sitting. Um, I want to say I beat it also less than like two hours. Like it was like very, very short. Um, I assume Toxie just has a low jump. I can't imagine that every character plays the same. I think he just might have a low jump. Can you interact with this? I enjoy a walk. Uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> But something about the scenery today leaves a lot to be decided. Yeah, I figure we'd uh we check out a handful of these things. Um I think I have four on my list we're gonna we're gonna get through today. It's not their fault an army of alien interlopers decided to How do I interact with this? Oh, okay, so I, I can pick it up. Okay. Figured maybe having a car land on you is a one hit kill, but you know. Alright. So in my, you know, I'm a big beat em up guy. Um, two full combo cycles to take out a regular enemy. Mm. It's a choice. Uh, not always necessarily my favorite. Uh, favorite choice. I can I can tell you that. Um, yeah, let's go. Say, let's use our kind of bigger move. Okay, so that same button to pick up the car picked up the health. We'll pick up that. I assume that was a newspaper stand of some sort. Um, I like my my beat em ups to be a little bit quicker to get through everything. Um, oh, that's cool. There's a reference to uh, um, Little Shop of Horrors in there. Looks like an Audrey in the. Uh... Can I interact with this? Okay, so it filled up my radiation meter. Oh. Was that a turkey or a chicken? If it's a turkey, I got to list it, add it to my list of games that have a turkey in it. That is for a, uh, I have a list of every video game that has a, has a turkey in it as a power up. Uh, it's for a video I never completed. Um, I'd like to get it out at some point. It's, it, it's the history of turkey and video games. Uh, it was going to be a Thanksgiving episode back in 2021 uh that i didn't get a chance to uh to finish for various reasons um but maybe maybe for thanksgiving 20 uh 2023 we'll get uh get that out there oh you can pick up enemies okay okay so my like nuclear uh meter refills when i attack okay can I pick this up? Okay. Uh, okay. And then I assume I can absorb. Doesn't seem to absorb any. Fa I guess it. Uh, yeah, I guess it's absorbing faster. Oops. Hey, 
everybody go. If you like are not familiar with with Toxic Crusader and Lloyd Kaufman, the man who who made the movie, and they ended up making multiple movies um, and like spun it off into into various things. It's kind of his most probably well-known thing he ever did aside from like Tromeo and Juliet I would say is probably like a um probably like a runner-up for that um he was you know he made a lot of movies that were like the movies you saw if you're at least my age I guess would see in a rental store that you're like oh I don't remember that come out in theaters what, what the hell is this movie and they looked like they are made for about 50 bucks um but Lloyd Coffin was like the master of like low budget independent filmmaking um, and if you have any interest in filmmaking, like the process behind it and, uh, you know, kind of what it takes to to make a low budget movie, he has a book called Make Your Own Damn Movie. And it is fantastic. I remember um, getting it. I don't know if I got it when it came out, but my I, I still have my copy of it and I bought it. I mean, I think I was in high school when I when I got it. Um, it's a, it's definitely a, a really good uh, good read. There was there was a point in time where I was really trying to make a short film, um, you know, writing scripts and learning how to write a screenplay and all that kind of stuff. And uh, the issue that I kind of ran into, which you know ultimately shouldn't be an excuse, but you know when you're a teenager, you know you, I guess you don't really consider these things. Um, is I, I just never had anybody, I, I could never find a cast, you know? And it's like, yeah, I guess I could have done everything by myself, just filmed myself, wrote a movie where there's only one character or something like that, but it just wasn't what I wanted to do. But I took, a, I took it like pretty serious. Like I took a lot of like online, um, courses about screenwriting, um, learned how to use some screenwriting software and stuff. And, um, there's a website that I, I highly doubt exists anymore. Uh, it was called Indie Mogul. And I wish I could remember the name of the guy who ran it. I want to say his name was Eric something. And they would teach you how to make special effects on like zero budget or very limited budget. And I learned a lot from that website. He would post like a video like every week. Um, if it wasn't pre YouTube, then it was like very early YouTubes. I don't remember. I know that some of those videos came over to YouTube. Maybe they always were, but I remember they were like embedded in the in the website. And I remember I used to go to that website every night to see if there was uh, anything new to uh, to check out. And, uh, you know, it was made by these really passionate people that just wanted to make movies and, and teach other people how to do stuff. And it was um, it was pretty inspiring, to, to be honest. Um, you know, I would say that that was definitely one of the more influential teenage kind of Internet experiences, I guess, in a way, you know, um, I think everybody kind of has like advice, advice that they've heard through their life that kind of sticks with them. And I think some of the stuff I learned through that website and through like Lloyd Coffin's book and even um, Angry Video Game Nerd released a documentary at one point uh, about like his history with making low budget films. And uh, it's like all like super inspiring stuff. And a, a lot of those things like really stuck, uh, stuck with me. Uh, I should probably talk about this game. Uh, this is fine. This is like totally serviceable. It, it's it's a nice looking game. Um, if this is the team that made Shredder's Revenge, I, I cannot remember off the top of my head. It's obviously like a step back in visual. I don't want to say visual quality because it looks fine, but it's definitely um, maybe a difference in budget. Um, you know that that kind of thing um it's just not as like smooth and polished looking uh but also that could be entirely on purpose because these were low budget movies you know that would make that would make sense to make it maybe look a little more blocky a little bit more pixelated but still nice bright colorful like all the stuff you would want out of a good a good beat em up Oh, is it a different attack? What's that do? Huh. I um, kind of your traditional like throw, maybe pressing X and A together. Uh, it does something, but I can't figure out exactly what it does. 
can't get close, and this guy blocks everything. Some of these sound effects are a little, a little grating. I'll, I'll say those are definitely a little, little on the grating side. He has to try to kill us at these stages there. I know. But a man's dump is his castle. This is personal. I dig the art style. I dig the look of the game. Um, the little character portraits are really well done. Um, I assume they're kind of taken from the, uh, the animated, you know, toxic stuff or toxy. I would, yeah, the, the only thing I, I, I am not liking is the, the, those like death cries are just a little, eh, you know. The music is good. It's not sticking out to me is bad or good. It's just, it's fine. Um, it's what you would expect from like a retro beat em up in 2023 based on something from the 80s. Like, if that makes sense. Like, a lot of this stuff is kind of like cut and dry, or not cut and dry, but like boilerplate at this point, you know? Um, so, it, 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 it's what you expect. Are those, are those Sonic shoes? I'm pointing at the screen like you can see. Uh, but it looked like maybe Sonic shoes in the back. Maybe there'll be a bunch of uh, like Easter eggs and uh, and whatnot in this game. That'd be kind of cool. Stop right there, toxic crusaders! Doctor, kill him off. Attacking the good people of Tromaville is one thing, but trespassing on our toxic waste dump? Where's your sense of decency? Yeah. That smell. Decency's got nothing to do with it. I'm just finishing what I started years. I mean, days ago. <laughs> okay. So, the I do like the the four-armed uh, business jacket. That's that's really good. The four-armed sport coat. To this ridiculous charade, and the only ones trespassing here are you on my planet. <laughs> you know what somebody needs to do, and this would appeal maybe just to me, is uh, this company needs to make a beat em up that is based on superhuman samurai cyber squad. Poludo, there we go. Man, Paluto, uh, for being a boss, taking some damage real easily. Okay, so when it comes out of its mouth, it's bad for us. Oh, we are, um, low on health. I did not realize. Thought we just picked up another one of those tricky chickens. Oh. We gonna go down. We might end up, might end up losing this. Oh, out of uh, okay. So we did die. Okay, pretty standard. You know, you come right back. No toxic gauge or nuclear gauge or whatever they're gonna call it. But we beat the boss. I'm going to imagine for a beat em up, this is probably not super long, so I imagine this is where the uh, the demo ends. Take a hike, kill him off. The only thing slick around here is the beat down we just did. What is out. something in my eye? Excellent work, <laughs> toxic crusaders, and excellent wordplay. It stays like these that make me proud to be a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and something strength. Something going. Okay. All right. Something going into my eyeball there. All right, stage clear. No! Who could have possibly seen this coming? Told you so. What was that? <laughs> Nothing, boss. Uh, I, uh... Say, isn't that Zazos the calling? Get him up, coming, you idiot! What's this I'm hearing about Baluto getting blown up? Is I wish I had a little bit more experience with the, uh... The source material for this stuff. I never saw the uh never saw the cartoon. 
But hey, you know, I'm interested in it as somebody who didn't see the cartoon, so. Yes, of course, our so star. We were just uh, heading there now. Although that's a little harsh, perhaps. Hey, he's getting away! And before we could bring him to justice for all his evil schemes and stuff. <laughs> yep. Don't sweat it, no zone. Looks like Killamoff's heading into the Tromaville Health Club. We can bring him to justice and I want to say when I was a kid, I might have had a toy of this guy with the blonde hair. He looks super familiar. I always say. Come on, Toxic Crusaders. It's shape up time. I have a Toxie figure in my collection, but it's more um like more realistically based on the movie. Okay. So, um that'll do it for for this. Um and we will uh we'll switch over to the uh switch over to the next uh next game here be back in uh just a moment all right so we're off to our next game after finish toxic crusaders this is mr run and jump which is a new atari game um which looked awesome in the uh the screenshots that i saw on steam uh, i just want to go through the settings real quick i changed the uh the screen size just to to fit everything okay i didn't see any controls or anything so um yeah i figured we jump in with this uh i really liked the art style from what i saw and it looked like a like a platformer and it's a new atari game i love atari so i definitely want to check this out my uh first video game system i ever played was an atari uh, 2600. okay so we're chasing our dog okay so b and a jump I assume that it turns into that crazy visual style from the screenshots and that we just saw in the menus. Fall damage? Nah, we're good. Okay. But yeah, these are the kind of games I uh I kind of grew up on. Oh, okay, that's bad. You know, it transitioned to an NES not long after, but uh yeah, 2600 is is where I started. Uh love that system. A lot of great games. Oh, this looks bad. Ah, we got it. We're doing it. Oh, thought maybe it would stop. I don't know why I thought that, but. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay. Hey, dog. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. It's interesting. I like the look of this. It's got like a like a soft glow, almost like a uh, like a CRT kind of glow to it. But it's like really. Oh, we have like a. Okay, we have a double jump, and we have like this now. Okay. Did Leap just run by? It's hard to tell since the transformation. I'm not sure what happened to our world, but everything seems to be much more glowy. Yeah. That pooch is always up to something. All right, let's go get our dog. I can definitely relate to a game where I'm chasing after my dog. Okay, some little pickups. Hey, you kind of bounce off the wall, so what does that mean? Okay, okay. Like Mega Man style. Okay. Power orb. Okay, so we're collecting those and we're going to try and repair one. Okay. Yeah, I'm really digging the look of this. The music is a little um subdued, to be honest. I figured it would be uh maybe a little bit more in your face, I guess. It's, um, when I, uh, when I look at this, it almost is like somebody, like, smeared something on my glasses. <laughs> like, what I look, what my vision looks like when I accidentally, like, touch my glasses or my dog licks them or something. It's, like, can't see. It's, like... All right, so these guys are bad news. Well, we're just going to use that to get right over them. Okay. 
There we go. Oh! Not what I tried to do. No, or not what I wanted to do. Alright. Okay. Realms of color. Well, we can try and get up there. It wasn't that hard to get up there. It's over here. This reminds me a little bit of um of V, like V V V V V V, which is one of my all-time favorite games. Like the little triangle spikes and all that. Yeah, this game has got a great. Oh, yeah. Didn't think that one through. This has got a great look to it. Um, I didn't have it. I, I it popped up when I was starting the game, but it said that this demo is the the first world. I don't know if they like necessarily mean like just the first level or there's multiple levels or I'm not really sure what the layout of this game is. Like if there's if there are like stages. Oops. Can we? Yes, we okay. We can. This is very, very V V V V V V. Like really, like oh, it's kind of cool. Cause I, you know. Nobody else ever really kind of made a game like that, like to a degree, I guess, like a lot of these uh, like retro platformers, I think, like maybe inappropriately got classified that way, but they weren't necessarily um, exactly what that game was. It's going to drive me nuts if I didn't get it. Oh, okay. I bounced. Interesting. Okay. So it kind of forced me to bounce uh, up there. Wow. They, um, I give the, these guys credit. I'm not sure who exactly made this. These controls are super tight. Like, I mean, really tight. It's, um, like really refreshing. I thought maybe at first, when I kind of first started the game, um, or if we, when we first got to this portion, I thought maybe they're going to be a little floaty in a way, but you can pretty much do what you want, um, in terms of controlling. Hmm. There's gotta be something else over there then. No, there isn't. Oh, okay. All right. Weird. Okay. Hmm. There we go. This is... This is really... This game is really good. We're gonna have to pay attention to this one, see when it, uh... Is actually coming out. I, um... A lot of these demos, you know, they just say, like, you know, wishlist now. They don't say, like, when it's coming out. Like, this one at the beginning when I turned it on was just like, oh, yeah, wishlist now. It didn't have, like, you know, oh, we'll see you at the end of the year or, you know, anything like that. It's just, you know. I mean, some of the stuff in the last Next Fest, which wasn't that long ago, has since come out. Like, that was, like, tape to tape was, like, one of the big ones in that. Um, that Like, that's fully... Well, I mean, it's an early access game, but, I mean, it's out now. Like, you can purchase it, play it, you know, the whole thing. Okay, so we are getting this whole... Oh, not available in... Okay. Okay, so these are... Okay. Well, at the very least, we're going to check out this other uh, level. 
They said that this um, demo will be available until July 3rd. So if you like what you see in this video, you do um, have some time to uh, to check it out. Unfortunately, by the time this video and it's it's just the way my schedule was this week, the event will be over by the time I put this video up. So I do apologize for that. Like if you see something that you liked and um, you're like, oh, I want to go get that. And you can't. Um, it was just kind of the way my week my week worked out. Um, I didn't get a chance to get this done in time. High jump. Hold the crouch button. What is the crouch button? Okay, so X is the... Oh, X or LB. Okay. Do these turn into... Okay, they turn into a solid. Kill me not to, uh, there we go. Ooh, I thought we were going to clear it. Okay, so we didn't need the wall jump at all there. Whoa! I didn't realize we could, uh, double jump, or, uh, do that high jump sideways there. Going. Bullfrog. Okay. Oh, thought we were gonna be able to go over it. Okay. I keep forgetting that I, if I have it on the kind of pre-planning where I'm going to go by holding the stick and it will, um, yeah, you go sideways very easily. That's, I assume that's going to come up at, um, some point. Oh, okay. He like got me with his feet. This is, this is really well made. Yeah, you can like totally stop on a dime. Like when I do this, like I'm stopping exactly where I want to stop. Like that is, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, I was kind of messing around the controls too much. This is the point where you get, like, too confident. It's like, yeah, I got, the, I got the basics down. I can just start kind of doing whatever I want here. Oops. Okay. Now getting out is going to be the, uh, yeah. To say getting out is going to be the challenge now. Mm. I didn't have the um but I had that high jump. There we go. Ooh. I'm not giving up on this. We're getting we're getting this friggin' little thing. That's the way I was with uh with V. <laughs> was uh, I gotta get every little thing. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like how how much can you manipulate this system? How many of these these jumps are they going to give you before the game is kind of like, hey, 
there's probably a better method that we want you to use um, to do this. We got it. Oops. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to sleep at night if I don't get all these. Oops. Oh! Okay. Nice checkpointing. I like that. All right, now we're learning something, uh, something new along. Okay, so this is the thing I've been accidentally, uh, doing. Okay. Oh, nah, actually, that one I'm not gonna try and, try and go back. Okay. Okay. This is where we learn that we won't be able to get every, uh... So I do turn, okay, so I turn color when I have the double jump. That was throwing me off a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. Oh, I couldn't do the, um, I couldn't do that out of that. There we go. Oh, I was not paying attention to the fact that those were spikes. Oh, it wouldn't let me, uh, weird. Okay. Maybe there's a specific, yeah, it won't let me do that. The, uh, when I press X where I kind of turn into, yeah, that shape, it would let me... Yeah, that's weird. Okay. It let me sometimes, so there's gotta be some type of mechanic I'm messing up. There we go. Hmm. That one's tricky. Is this gonna, like, turn into Celeste, where I was, like, real good at it to start and then, like, couldn't finish it to save my life? Still to this day, I have not finished uh, Celeste because I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't keep up with it towards the end. Okay. Man, this is gonna end up being like, uh, like sleeper hit of the year if it comes out this year. I don't, I don't know what they're, uh, what they're, um, planning for a release. No! No, 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 no! Yeah. Alright, let's just try and, uh, get through this and not worry about these, uh, these collectibles too much. All right, cool. That's Mr. Run and Jump. We won't. Uh, we won't go through. You know, since we're taking a look at multiple games, we're not going to do the uh, do everything in the demo. But um, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, that was Mr. Run and Jump, new Atari game. Um, I I like that a lot. That is very very good. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in uh, we'll be back in another moment with the next game. All right, so the next game here is Punch Club Two. Uh, fast forward, uh, so I played a little bit of the first Punch Club, but I didn't finish it, uh, and it's been oh, quite some time since I played it, but I saw this was coming out, and I like kind of games like this, these kind of like, uh, I don't know if I necessarily call them like simulator, or like tycoon games, but it was, uh, it's an interesting kind of twist on that, that sort of related genre, I guess, in a, in a way, um, I'll just start with normal. 
I don't know if this is like a, a direct sequel because I since I didn't finish the game, I certainly don't remember. But this is like a uh, you like you're training your boxer kind of thing. Um, you know, it was cool. It, it, was, it was a neat well, the first game. It was it was a neat, you know, neat concept. Well, that sucks. Oh, at least it was a dream and the cat's not dead. Okay. Kind of at, like our home slash gym. You know, my favorite sweets, this gigantic basket of limes. Oh, okay. Not? I don't remember the first game having like a weird kind of twist on things. Is this like a Kafka-esque <laughs> like sequel? I am like thoroughly confused. Lion Punk. Man, Lion O broke bad. Just take this kid out. Okay. Yeah, I definitely I definitely don't remember the first game being anything like this. Did I not play the first game and I just think I did? This is like way different. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's cool. It's like an interesting concept. It's like, how do you get people into a boxing game? Make it as weird as fucking possible. Oh, he's talking to the everlasting gobstopper now. Not even like a good kick. Oh, okay. Obi-Wan Kenobi. I hope that this like demo is just like a giant joke. They're like, oh yeah, by the way, it keeps totally normal. It's like a like a frog fraction situation. <laughs> Leaving the shell. Alright. Alright. Kickboxer uh, poster, but it says Nick Boxer. Perfect. Okay, now we are in control. We're gonna get low on the rug. Okay, and then we're gonna go do ham science. Was that what it was? No food. Give me my ham. Okay, we have to go get our slug mom now. This kind of got like, uh, anybody played like Norco last year? Kind of got like Norco vibes? I like the lava lamp on the uh, <laughs> dining room table and the like Indiana Jones hat on the. Uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, I gotta press this button. Okay, so I gotta go to Henry's house. Okay. Oh, close your robe, dude. Let's see your satellite package. Well, I, I got like a ham machine out back that still works, you know, if you want to like hang out with my ham machine or this, you know, fucking popcorn machine that's just going off in the corner. All 
right. Off to the hamburger shop. Happy cheeks. Okay. It's the end of the Simpsons episode with Perns and Smithers in the future. Okay. Okay, he told me to get both of these. Okay. What's up, Final Fantasy boss? Bobo Jr.? What is this game? I don't remember the- I don't remember the first one being anything like this. I gotta, I gotta look this up. The Slickers. Okay, we're gonna fight him. Okay, insert abilities and slots. Can I insert the hamburger? Okay. Okay. Got punch. Okay, we don't like actually directly control our guy. It just kind of like plays out um like a like a battle. We are getting housed. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. We're gonna go work for a little Bobo. Oh, cool. Ghost Christopher Walken is coming. Okay. Get 2,000 GPP and I have to become a cop. All right. Good person points. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well, now we have our chip. Multi passport. Okay, thanks, Clippy. Okay, so we, man, this cop sure has, or this cop, this ghost box on a wheel sure has a lot of information about what I should do to learn how to fight people. All right, uh, I guess we go. I can't go to his house to give him the hamburger, so I have to go here. Well, she's obviously not telling him the truth. This is a really interesting world they've crafted here where the cops have a rule of the fists and fight citizens. Like, I mean, it's not that far off from real world America, but all right. We don't have any food! Do we? 
Oh, so we ended up do we did get it. Okay, so time. Okay. Quest tree. Okay, there's Bobo Jr. Okay, oh, we're gonna go work on the Bobo farm. Well, let's let's give him the hamburger. Cause we need to we need to do that. We need to give him. Okay, so there's like a real time mechanic in here, I guess. Okay. It took like it's 8 p.m. or 8.40 p.m. We got that burger before five. So here's your three and a half hour old burger. <laughs> okay. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we'll finish talking to him and his projector here. And then I guess we'll go to the gym and then I, I'll call it for the demo so we can we can continue on. Okay. Got some old school respect. Okay. Okay, so we get moves. Okay. Okay, so we get the basics. Okay. All right. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. We're going to go and try and do the gym. Okay, this will still be open by the time I get there. Okay. Okay. The Russian Mafia runs the junkyard, okay. New goal, <laughs> infiltrate the Russian Mafia. Okay, right through the door. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. Lord Huey. Give me a hunk of chunk of a raw pop. What? Okay. Okay. All right. I think that that'll be a good place to, uh, to call it. I'm going to go look real quick. I want to go to the store page for this game. I want to go to the first game. Punch Club. OK. Oh, I guess punch. I guess first Punch Club was weird. OK. Wait, was it or did they do DLC that was weird? No, the first game seems somewhat normal, I guess. Yeah, OK, so I'm looking at a screenshot and it's like the, the convenience store we were in. The guy has a body. OK, all right. All right. Fair enough. So this is just like a really bizarre sequel. All right, cool. All right. Well, we're going to, um, you know, we'll finish up with this and then uh, move on to our uh, our final game of the day. All right. So this is our last game we're checking out for the Steam Next Fest uh, kind of round up here. This is Little Guardsman and the description of this said it is similar to Papers, Please. And I was a big Papers, Please fan. So uh, I'm looking looking forward to seeing what this is. So let's uh, let's dive in. And so it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. A small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One disaster after another had been okay. diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision making. With the kingdom on the verge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head 
but only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. Okay. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. I'm picking up oh what you're putting my down. God, you've made the wrong choice. Wonderful. You didn't think things through. You've doomed us all. Everything's on fire now. We're all covered in fire. How could you have done this to us? Awesome. All right. Well. What? What? Oh, Dad, I was. This art style oh, immediately looks like a. Nightmare. Like an Adult Swim cartoon? It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake, I think it's time you and I had the talk. Out of one nightmare and into another. Sweetie, there comes a time in every right. young person's I, life... I am going to skip through dialogue. Dad, <laughs> you don't have to do this. When they have to work their dad's shift at the garden... Gonna read faster. This is a bet on the Goblin Ball match down. Goblin Ball? Aw, oh, Dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was like the start Nirvana off poster and my friends. the Demon I Days <laughs> poster. I fight ogres. I... I want to throw rocks at things too, man. I used to throw rocks at cars when I was a kid. But I, Absolutely. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed a bet at the Goblin Ball match down at the pub. Did he ever win anything? I want to work at the guard shed, or could I work at the guard shed and throw but rocks at people? Did we get in trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Come on. All right. Okay, I definitely can see how this is going to be like papers, please. Okay. Oh, good. Everyone loves a tutorial. No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we... Uh, okay. Tell him to get out. I guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. Ah, good. Oh, she's obviously got a gun in her lunchbox. Plain and boring, as always. Bingo. Would you mind if Lil looks after you? Oh, not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Shamish. It's Hamish. What is? Never mind. Now, Lil, when a exactly. visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. I'd like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? That's not a basket. That's a cooler. You're trying to infiltrate. Get out. Obviously poisoned. Oh. After they state their business, what was that other item? We'll take a uh, next. look at science hourglass. You can click on them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. Not really. What do we Okay. You can pick one and it does something. Come on. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Oh, no, not at all, dear. I don't. But the princess is whirly gigging the ceremonial first slingshot. <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitter. The name is Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. All right. Click on any highlighted element to learn about it. Okay. Oh, boy, this might be. Let's do this with a mouse. <laughs> Let's do this with a mouse. You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in or send them packing. Okay. Choosing this will Let's end the controller out of the way here. Get out of here. All right, I'll figure it out on my own. Now Don't you worry. Can choose to use the Wicked 3000 at any point during a turn. Sometimes? Yeah. And sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like I am. Yeah, I guess she's fine. I hope it ends up being that I was, like, totally wrong. Great job, Lil. You Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorn. Here's a tip. Never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. Let's hurry along with the game. My name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not. Oh, I better go. Time to put on this your... This is very, like, like cutesy, you know? This? Is this what the, uh, 
The it's kids these days are calling a cozy over. game, whatever the I'll hell that the means. Tavern when the shift is over. Good luck. Good luck with your illegal gambling. Back on my day, we sat on the floor and played Diablo. That was our cozy game. Believe me, he does. Okay, Lil, you got. All right. Who's next up? Let's take him out. Oh wow. Okay. If the Castle Guard Corps can achieve a good star rating this month, there'll be a pizza party. Okay. Demonstration of the city square this evening held by the members of the Mages Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. Okay. Guardsman Randy's 35 years. Group of sweet Grammys and Grampies were discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs into and out of the city. Every old person treated as a drug mule. Okay. Depressed Joker seeks person with funny name. If you call him pique my interest, there's a bonus in it for you. Interesting. So kind of things to keep in mind. I think that was similar papers, please. I think there'd be like every day there'd be like, oh, this is happening. Keep a lookout for this. Got some power crystals. OK, I assume this is for the purposes of the demo. All right, who's up? Oh, this guy's on something. Charmed to make your acquaintance. Your this guy's this the, he's up to something. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Briel and Darunia Athanatos. <sighs> Whatever, I dude. I am summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight. Okay, so I gotta call that lady. Guild. Will you require anything? For yeah, I gotta call. Uh, Ash. I'm so glad you called. Frankly, I was worried. God <laughs> okay. never followed. Admit the mage and my people will... Okay. Alright, I guess you can go through. Hopefully he's legit. We're terrible at our job. The House of Thanatos and indeed the entire mage's guild. Wonder why we didn't get four star. Maybe we should have asked him another question. Okay. Good afternoon. I am here to pick up my two kids from their no good, stingy, low life of a father who has okay. to be my lying, cheating, low life of an ex. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter. Fantastic. Okay. Believe me, I would love to have him get. All right. Let's, um,. Okay. It was his week with them. No, I'm sorry. It was. And you want to okay. know what the kids say about her? I'm sure the letter they wrote is all about her. Can hmm. I guess I don't really have a reason the not to was. trust. You see what I mean? And okay, what else can we do here? Is this the writ? Okay. Was there anything about ogres? No. Um, what's this? Bullwhip, decoder ring, metal detector, x-ray, truth spray. Let's try one of these. Let's see how it works. Kelly is a lot younger than me. She probably has a lot of- Okay. Orlando is a for leaving me for her. Okay, this is actually pretty funny. And when he gets he likes to his own have fun with that little surprise. Okay, I think oh. she's probably telling the truth here. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're safe to let her in. Thanks. Don't worry, Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Good luck. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. I like this. This is good. I can see myself. Uh, I can see myself playing this. <laughs> this looks fun. The bloody blazing blasted head. Well, sir, the guard. Silence. Speak when okay. spoken to. Yes, sir. Now this guy's up to child. something. Let me pass. I. B.S. Bank of the sprawl. Well, that's unfortunate. 
Okay, so we could talk to both what kind of, of them. You have a I shan't be hearing the details of my B. Oh, he's gonna give me the whip. I'll give him the whip. Wait, let's oh, tease him. Yes, we mustn't keep you. Oh, let's give him the whip. Can we whip him? Let's give him the whip. Yeah. How you like that, Daddy? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just slouching. Only oh, I didn't want to hit him. I, I wanted to hit the other guy. You nincompoop! It wasn't me using the whip. If it was. Wait a second. Did he say blood gold? He didn't say blood gold. He said. Oh, uh, yes, we're not sir, letting them in. I'd like to take no. a closer look at the. Let me see this. Let me see this. It's mine. I, think I need to hold on to these. Yeah, that's mine. Greedy little. No, it's not like that. Oh, of course. Just. Oh, the dad comes back like, it's how did uh, how did today go? Oh, yeah, I stole a shitload of gold. Petty little. Nah, we're not letting him. Uh, no way, we're letting him through. Okay, so that's just our inventory. Nothing up here. This, this. Is there something about that I had to call? Okay, it was just that. He didn't say he was a grandparent. Um, we talked to this guy. Would you like to see my tax returns too, if you want to see what I'm taking. Okay. That's a little extreme. I'm gonna. I I I get the feeling that he's probably legit, and this is okay. This is like a test, but I'm gonna deny him just to see. Like this is kind of like the first curveball they throw you. It's the goblin's fault, isn't it? Now, what about this? Let me through the gate, but I shall leave. But sir, the goal. Silence. Oh, right. interesting. Okay, did we make the right decision? We did. Okay, blood gold trafficker on your first damn day. I'm a legend. All right, we'll do another uh, another one or two of these. Well, okay, this guy's up to something. Shed for the day and come with me immediately. Oh, okay. There's no time for your irritating brand of. I can't believe. Okay. Is she a millennial? She's a small child. By now, you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Good. Any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day okay. or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town. Interesting. I hope nothing bad happened to her. This, you know, this, this is obviously very, very similar to Papers, Please, with all like the the external <laughs> like the political conflict that was said, going on in that game. So this is this is really like, what if we made Papers, Please for like a Do casual a generation kind of thing? City council chambers with me. All right. Well, I guess that's that. All right, so yeah, we'll we'll call it with that. Uh, I liked it. Uh, okay, so we played uh, Toxic Avengers, uh, Mr. Run and Jump, Punch Club Two, and Lil Guardsman. And I would say that my favorite was definitely Mr. Run and Jump. Uh, and I really like this. I thought this was pretty cool. This little guardsman, I thought was uh, was pretty solid. Um, so yeah, definitely stuff to keep keep an, an eye out on. I'm gonna add these to my. I'm gonna add the ones I'm interested in to my wish list. And uh, you know, if they come out this year or whenever they come out, you know, we'll we'll, we'll check them out. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. And uh, you know, leave a comment below with what you played during the next fest. You know, what were your, some of your favorite demos? What are the games you're looking forward to uh, that are kind of on the smaller indie side? You know, we just got a huge flood of all the big big titles coming out uh, over the past few weeks uh, with all the showcases and press conferences and all that stuff. But this is a nice uh, nice way to see uh, see kind of what the other sides got coming out. And I think there's some really cool inventive stuff on the horizon. Uh, so yeah, thanks again for, uh, for hanging out and we'll see you soon.